I grew up hunting. From the time I was a little kid, I kind of had an, uh, a love affair with guns and hunting, and especially being outside. I've, I'm an outdoor person. Karen and I thought from the beginning that it was very important to get our kids in the outdoors and enjoy the outdoors. I always tried to include them. I never, hardly ever left them home by themselves uh, or hardly ever with a babysitter. We usually brought them along. Sometimes it wasn't convenient, but it, it always worked out and it seemed like the experience was better because of it. Memories are built by moments in time. Big or small, these milestones come together to create the legacies by which we're remembered forever. So goes the story of Winchester, the American legend. With Winchester's 150th anniversary taking place this year, it actually opened up the chance for me to talk to my family about different traditions and just about the Winchester brand and how much my grandfather loved Winchester. Well, he passed that down to my dad, and now my dad has passed that down to me, and it's really fun to be able to look back at some of the history and see some of the older guns. Over the past 150 years, no single brand of firearms and ammunition has played a bigger role in writing history than Winchester. The story begins in May of 1866. Oliver Winchester established the Winchester Repeating Arms Company to build the finest products possible. His pursuit laid the foundation for what would become one of the world's most recognized and respected brand names, built on integrity and a commitment to the highest quality. Now I've had the luxury of shooting some really nice new guns provided by Winchester, but I really hadn't had a good chance to take an opportunity to use some of our own family guns until this year. My plan was to go out, shoot at my parents' house with my dad, get used to using a lever action, and then go to Texas looking to hunt some hogs. Well, I'm pretty excited. Finally get to shoot the 30-30. <laughs> Well, I've heard all about it, now I can only hope I'm half the shot that you guys are. <laughs> well, it's a nice little gun. So We've now you actually, you've shot your first deer with this, right? I started deer hunting with it when I was 14 years old. My dad used it for several years before that. It's been great, it's a great gun. Well, what I like about, kind of like and dislike, is the fact that there's no scope, but it's not exactly what I'm used to, but I think for hogs it'll be perfect. In yeah. fact, that's how it came into our family, right? Correct. Um, my cousin was stationed over in Germany and he brought it back with him from the service and they used it over there for wild boar. Well, that's cool. You guys have all shot deer. Now I get to take it to Texas, shoot some wild hogs mm -hmm. with it. So uh, now I guess the only thing left to do is uh, get practicing. <laughs> yeah, try it out. We do have this special gun in our family that everyone is, that's used it has really liked it. It's been dependable, it's pretty accurate, and it's just a family heirloom. And the thing with me, when I was like, say, I think I was 14 when my dad brought me up north deer hunting with it, and it was the first season I got to use it, when I loaded that gun and cocked one in, and he showed me how to put the hammer back where it was supposed to be, I felt like I was really hunting. It meant a lot to me. Fast forward to the year 1883. The straight shooting Winchester reputation was noticed by Buffalo Bill Cody. In his famous Wild West show, Buffalo Bill and his fellow marksmen, including Annie Oakley, used Winchester firearms and ammunition while performing their trick shots. This proud endorsement did much for the fame of the Winchester brand in its early years. These star performers were looked upon as heroes, and their approval helped to launch Winchester toward the 20th century. But Winchester remained focused on innovation and refused to leave the 1800s without revolutionizing a treasured tradition. The year was 1895. Winchester introduced its first commercial smokeless centerfire cartridges, including the 3030 Winchester. When paired with the model 1894, it's the most famous deer rifle and ammunition combination ever, celebrated for its great accuracy and easy handling. This smokeless cartridge became the perfect companion to the model 1894. The gun is a 94 Winchester carbine in a 3030. 
you know, with open sights, it's not a tack driver, but it's it's accurate enough for hunting. And it's, uh, like I said, when you go into the woods, you put it in your hand, it feels like you're hunting. It's compact, it's handy. Hey, there you go, that's how it's done. Okay, <laughs> one hog down. <laughs> Good job, now you got the hang of it. Sportsman's Alliance, our heritage, our fight. Protecting hunting from coast to coast. Did you know the Sportsman's Alliance submitted comments in opposition to U.S. Fish and Wildlife's proposed takeover of public lands in Alaska? Just another fun fact showing you how sportsmen and women are helping make a difference. One of the reasons I decided to go to Texas and hunt hogs is it was August. There's not a lot of different opportunities to go hunting and I thought, well, I love hog hunting. I love going to Texas and what a great way to get the season started. Well, we're out here in Texas and we're gonna try doing a mixture of both blind hunting and spot and stock. Pork chop can't come with me on the spot and stock, way too many snakes, but we are gonna try hunting out of this blind. We've got a cutty back up, we've seen some nice nice hogs coming through. We know this is a good area. I also put out my Convergent Hunting Solutions call and I think it's going to be perfect. A lot of people don't realize you can call in hogs. In fact, they have a huge variety of hog calls. So we're going to put that up. Hopefully that'll draw them in. It is extremely warm right now. I mean, this thing is just cooking us. But um, I've got a great idea. I've got an angle cooler here full of ice. I've got pork chops blanket. And I'm going to make her a little bed on ice so she can stay nice and cool. I, on the other hand, there's no cooler big enough for me to sit in, so uh, at least she'll be taken care of. <laughs> now, one of the challenges, no question, was going to be the weather. We were looking at some extremely hot weather. And when you're hunting hogs, well, a lot of them are nocturnal anyway. Then add temps over 100 degrees, and it can be downright difficult to hunt them. The hogs were definitely frequenting the area, but most of them were coming through at 2, 3 in the morning. So our goal was to put out this call and bring those hogs in a lot earlier. And unfortunately, there were no hogs that came through. We just sat in that blind, sweated it out, and we were looking at 113 degree temps. And I thought, I cannot stand this heat any longer. So we decided to start hunting exactly how I love to hunt. We're gonna go after them, spot and stop. Well, we spent the morning out in this blind trying to call in these hogs. Now I was hoping that we could bring them in, tried some feeding sounds, I even tried some actual hog fights, but it is so hot out here right now. It's supposed to be like 113 today, hottest day of the year in Texas. And of course, I pick it to be here hog hunting, but it's the way it goes. So what we're gonna try now, we're gonna actually stalk through here. We don't have a lot of wind, but we're gonna try to get the wind in our favor and then come and hopefully find these hogs still bedded. Now what I'm hoping is we can see them before they see us. Got a quick shooting lever action. Should be in good shape, but um, we gotta try something. I can only sit in a hot blind for so long. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Cuddyback Digital. More deer, fewer blanks. Hard-hitting Easton Arrows. Golden Triangle Whitetail. Winchester, celebrating 150 years of legendary excellence. Send killer gold with Hunt Dry technology. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Convergent Hunting Solutions, where experience, innovation, and passion meet. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company, and 
Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV UTV accessories. Well, the good news is we've got a good wind. I just saw a hog just kind of going that way. He wasn't spooked. But I saw him before he saw me, so there's still a chance. It's just too far of a shot. It was probably 150 yards. I'm not comfortable that far, so I'm going to try to just stock up behind him, see if we can't get right up there. Now, what I was going to be looking for when we were hunting spot and stock is places that were lower, cooler areas, maybe some water, to try to get in there. And I knew it was going to be quick shooting. If we spotted these hogs, we were probably going to be jumping them up, and we wouldn't have a lot of time. And I was thinking, well, if you're not going to have a lot of time, there's really no better gun than using a lever action because you can get it up, you're not dealing with scopes, you've got iron sights, and I thought this will work out perfectly. Well, as we were stalking around, I actually spotted a couple hogs up and moving and they hadn't seen us. So we just stood still and I waited and they kind of fed toward us. He's hit twice. Yeah, it looked like I hit him. I thought maybe just a little far back, but it's pretty good red blood. I got a second shot as it was running away. Looked like it was right behind the head. I don't think it went far at all. Blood trail's getting pretty good. I see sticks up here with some too. Wow, what a great way to start off this hunt. This has been so much fun. I'm out here in Texas before my season starts and I've been able to get out here, spot and stock, and the most special part of it all is the fact that I'm using this gun. I can promise you, I know my grandpa would be so proud to know that I'm out here hog hunting, bringing this gun right back to where its roots, where it started. My dad talked Gene, my cousin, into selling him this particular 3030. He was in the service over there in Germany. They used it for wild boars, I guess. Ever since then, we've all enjoyed it. Got two shots on this hog, just fun. I have never hunted with a lever action before, and this is Winchester's 150th anniversary this year. And because of that, it got me, my family talking. I found out about a tradition in our family about this gun, and now I'm able to bring it out, and it's really made this entire trip special. Not only do I have a beautiful hog down, but the memories, they'll last a lifetime. Memory Chase, building our future one child at a time. Memory Chase is all about getting more kids involved and features home video from viewers just like you. This week, we're going to Maryland with 11-year-old Abby Russum. Oh, baby, you just shot a damn monster. Big deer. <laughs> Good. God, he's big. Do you have an amazing youth hunting experience you'd like to share with us on Memory Chase? You got him, buddy. Yeah. Each week, we highlight one young hunter on the show and present them with a huge prize pack that includes a brand new mission bow. For a chance to see your favorite kid on TV, visit MemoryChase.com for details. 
After all, our future is built one child at a time. This segment was brought to you by Convergent Hunting Solutions. Try their electronic game calls today, featuring Bluetooth technology to work right with your smartphone. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, celebrating 150 years of legendary excellence. Matthews Archery, catch us if you can. Field and Stream, where traditions begin. ScoutLookWeather.com, download the free ScoutLook hunting app for your smartphone. Range Master Trailers, luxury gone rugged. Master Hand Milling, revolutionizing the range. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Garmin, enhance your outdoor adventures. Winchester, the American legend. Sure Shot Jewelry, check out the Melissa Bachman collection today. And Boss Buck, for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. Closed captioning is brought to you by Cuddyback Digital. Upgrade to Cuddyback and your images will never look better. Texas in August, well, I knew we were going to have hot weather. But the good part about that, well, we'd primarily be hunting hogs in the morning and in the afternoon. So we had all midday to just hang out and do whatever we wanted. So I was not going to waste that. I actually brought down my field and stream kayak and I was able to get out and fish for Texas bass for a little while. Now I was hoping to catch some of those big giant fish. In fact, I had been there in the past, I had caught some really nice ones. But on this trip, we weren't catching a lot, but we were having a wonderful time. I had pork chop in the kayak with me, and we weren't just hunting hogs. We were getting a little chance to do some fishing and hunting, which in my opinion is absolutely perfect. <music> Now with one hog down, we decided to keep stalking, and as we were going through, well, we saw a couple different instances where hogs just ran through, and a lot of them were in the higher grass. They were laying in the water, so that's what I was really looking for. I was looking for lower areas where they might be laying down in that water, and it was not easy to find. These hogs were not laying out in the wide open. They were bedded in thick, thick areas, so that's what I started walking through. I thought, you know what, maybe we can see them just a little bit ahead of time. And as we were going, I saw a nice hog through the thick brush. Now I could see the outline. My cameraman couldn't quite see it, but I was able to get a shot. The hog came flying out. I put a second shot in, and we had another hog down. I got him. <laughs> really nice when we were going through the weeds. Just an awesome hog. Came around the back. Whew, this is a perfect gun. It is so nice to carry and it is really cool to come full circle, get a nice big hog. We are just dying out here. It is so hot, but it's laying right over here. So we're gonna go take a look. Is it thick in here? Wow, look at this. Just an awesome hog. Good shooting. I'm pretty sure my dad and grandpa would have been proud of me shooting with this. Now to me, it wasn't necessarily all about just going in there and shooting a whole bunch of hogs. It was getting out there, being able to hunt with a gun that's been in my family for so many years. So after 150 years of tradition, it's neat to know that Winchester has such a strong family tradition and also know that it actually comes into my own family. Winchester has been there through the years and to me, yes, a hog hunt, that was unbelievable. But it was really fun to spend that time shooting the guns with my dad, to hear his stories and just see how proud he was to know that I was going out, I was using a gun that he was given by his father and that has been through the generations, it is really nice to know that that hunting and that family tradition has been passed on through all of our generations. 150 years have come and gone. The American legend has good reason to celebrate. Winchester was there for the turning points, the make or breaks, representing a long and responsible heritage of commitment, pride, and high quality products. The test of time has strengthened the Winchester name. 
a name rest assured that will always take a leading role in advancing and supporting conservation, hunter education, and our country's proud shooting sports heritage. Winchester, celebrating 150 years of legendary excellence.